All right, we're back with some more One Piece. They're raising the anchor, and I assume they're going to this town of the beginning and the end. At least that's what I'm hoping for, and we shall soon get to see them enter the Grand Line. <laughs> like a bunch of kids. I love it. Wait, Luffy's only 18, right? You can play tag at 18. Come on. <laughs> what do you suppose happened to Buggy? Oh, we'll find out. I can't wait to find out what happened to Buggy, actually. Luffy's such a greedy little bum. He reminds me of Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks from uh, Star Wars. The, 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 f the first one there, where, where he's at Anakin's place, and he just <laughs> steals the apple or whatever it is. <laughs> wow, Luffy sent him flying. He doesn't have his body back. <laughs> oh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Buggy, you're a funny one. I was told to skip the titles. No, 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 no. I'm skipping the titles. Yeah, you stupid fish. Actually, that, that's probably gonna be his <laughs> next friend. Oh, come on, the poor little thing. Buggy! You. Yeah. Oh, Buggy's just a terrible man, isn't he? Bye, Buggy. <laughs> That's one creepy little bird. Creepy giant bird, I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he looks like a pretty delicious meal, if you ask me. Actually, he's probably pretty disgusting. Watch the bird spit him out. Yep. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Uh-oh. God, Buggy, Buggy's just really lucky to be constantly landing on some kind of island instead of in the ocean. I... I knew it. Oh, that's beautiful. My, my vote is obviously on... Um... The guy, I, I, I forget his name now, but the, the, the guy in the treasure box. Huh! Ouch. Come on, animals! Y you should be stepping in to, to help. Oh, God. Interesting, I never thought he'd be making friends with Buggy. <laughs> no. The animals probably shouldn't be drinking that. Oh, no, he's gonna tell him about Luffy. <laughs> they would not be good friends, trust me. <laughs> They're talking about the same kid. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, God. It's a matter of perspective, isn't it? I mean, to be honest, but Buggy, Buggy is a pretty horrible person. He did horrible things, so he deserved this. In any case, Luffy's fame is growing. Sort of. <laughs> They're all sick from the alcohol. I knew it. I wonder if Buggy would ever end up becoming a good guy in any way. Oh. Well. Oops. That wasn't there when Luffy came by. Oh, hi. Uh-oh. Oh, is that Alvita? Alvita Sama's boat? Ouch. That's not Alvita. Unless it is. The poor giant crab thing over there, though. That really. The, the boat really reminds me a lot of Alvita's boat from the very first episode. But that can't possibly be her. But she definitely does not seem like a good person. Oh. Even Mr. Hermit Crab's gonna go to sleep! No! Oh, poor Hermit Crab. Well, flash to them and let's see where they are. <laughs> Notice a cloud there. You sop! <laughs> they made a memorial for him. Cruel and terrible captain. <laughs> Even the lion. Mm-mm. Oh, this isn't good. They're gonna fight over who gets a lead. Watch them have a slapping fight or something. <laughs> okay, are, are they really trying to kill each other here? 
I bet you they're both gonna be completely equal and uh oh. And and no one's gonna win. Or it'll be a slap fight, like I originally said. <laughs> <laughs> God, they look horrible. The owl is unimpressed. <laughs> the owl is even more unimpressed. Oh. The owl has left the island. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Well, that's not very good for them now, is it? Is Richie still dreaming, or is this actually happening right now? Did Richie actually become their captain? I think that actually happened. Well. <laughs> Good job, guys! You did wonderfully, didn't you? Oh no, that means Buggy gets his body parts back. Darn it! They beat each other to death! Oh, they're gonna bite it! Oh, good. Oh no. Never mind. Well, I, I'm, a, I'm a tad bit upset. I was kind of hoping that Buggy would be stuck like a little... You know, basically bodiless thing for a lot longer or forever I don't know M maybe he'll end up being coming somewhat good or something ah oh, we still don't get to know her name darn it I'm really wondering if it's Alvita or not <clears throat> and that's it for now I know this one's a little bit short and I apologize for that but uh I'm trying to figure out how to manage my time a little better, and I also kind of figured that this is a pretty good place for this one to end, because uh, the next episodes should hopefully be them going to uh, that island where Gold Roger was born, and uh, then of course going to the Grand Line, and so I thought it would be a little bit of a good idea to kind of separate it, because this is more about what happened to Buggy since we last saw him. And it is really interesting. He, he's definitely a very lucky man, very lucky, cursed man, since three separate times he went flying off into space and ended up landing on three separate islands every time. <laughs> he didn't even like end up somewhere in the water and someone jump in and save him or something. No, he landed on islands every time. Lucky turd. I'm also very interested to see who that other lady is. Uh, her boat and everything looks a heck of a lot like Alvita Sama's boat from the very beginning there, that very first episode where we met uh, Kobe. So it'll be interesting to see if that actually is Alvita Sama and what happened to her, unless uh, because or earlier on I mentioned something about it's a matter of perspective there with Gaimon and uh, Buggy. They're both talking about Luffy, the same person, but a totally different, you know, stories. But of course, with Gaimon, Gaimon's a good guy, and they end up, uh, you know, getting along pretty well and everything, and Luffy tried to help Gaimon get his treasure. Whereas Buggy is not really such a good man. So, of course, because Luffy attacked him and they had a fight, and Luffy won and everything, uh, Buggy's not very happy. <laughs> so to him, Luffy is not a good guy at all. So totally different uh, perspectives there, and I wonder if that may be sort of the same thing if that lady actually is Alvida, and I really hope I find out very soon in the next couple episodes here. I also do have a couple other things here. I believe it was uh, Casper Mo who suggested I take a look at the 4Kids dub for One Piece. And Jai and I Stay asked me a couple questions um, that are going to be in a separate video of their own because that's going to be a little bit of a uh, East Blue Saga type thing. Um, how I felt about it and all that um, from the beginning compared to now and all that. That'll be in a separate video as he suggested and uh, yeah, so looking forward to those. And then the real story, once they enter the Grand Line and um, obviously make it out of the Grand Line. Uh, this week, because this one was so short, I'm sure this week uh, I'll, um, I, I, I will make sure to try and find time <laughs> to uh, watch the next few episodes here, see them get to the Grand Line and everything. And uh, yeah, that should be up next week, next Sunday. From now on, I'm gonna be trying to set like a, at least an hour 
on a couple of days to watch some One Piece episodes because an hour isn't very much and I should be able to do that at the very least. So yeah, just managing time is a bit of a pain. <laughs> Last thing for those that are interested in uh, comic books, there is a uh, Garth Ennis The Boys and More by Dynamite uh, bu uh, comic bundle on Humble Bundle. Link up there and a link in the description. It has things like A Train Called Love, Garth Ennis The Ninjets Volume 1, Just a Pilgrim Collection, and many more. If you're interested in that, it would mean a lot if you took a look at it. Your purchase will help not only support myself, but also more importantly, charity. So that's always a great feeling. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye and God bless.